So here is my next job and as we can see there are a lot of markings on the ground here because we are in a street and there are lots of cables. So the blue line is for telephone and the red lines and the pink ones are for power and you can see here is a cabinet for power for this house. This is the house we are working on and uh, yeah here's the Terex ready for work. Sorry for interrupting the video, uh, but from time to time I get a question from some of the viewers where you can get my hat with the logo on. And first of all, it's just so cool that someone wants to wear the hat, my hat with my logo and everything. I, that's just so cool. So earlier I got an internet shop that made them and the build quality was really bad and I didn't even want to give them away. But now I got a local shop that are printing them for me and you can see the logo is a lot clearer on them so the build quality is a lot better also so with this i got a few hats printed up and ready to ship and i actually want to give away five hats to some of the viewers uh, i can't choose who of them so i will have a contest and all you have to do to participate in that is just leave a comment down in the video here on youtube and uh, I will give all the comments a number and use random.org to pull five winners that will get a free hat with shipping. So just comment anything down there, as long as it's not bad, then I will not use that comment. Uh, and you are in it to win it. And if you don't win it, I will probably announce the winner next video, hopefully the weekend, something like that. And uh, if you don't win it, you can go to minimachines.no and there you can buy the hat. Sadly, I can't give away every hat because they are a bit expensive, but uh, there you can buy it if you want it. And uh, the shipping is a little bit pricey for worldwide. Uh, that's because of Norway, it's pricey. Uh, so it's $11 for shipping worldwide these hats. Uh, it is what it is, it's nothing I can do about it, I can't give it away. But go check it out, minimachines.no, and uh, link down here somewhere and in the description. And uh, leave a comment to win one, possibly. Enjoy the rest of the video. And what we are doing here is we are draining all the way around the house. So this top side with the asphalt and down this side. And right here we are building our retaining wall. So we can actually have our retaining wall coming down along the tree here, over there and up towards the excavator. So they can use this area for parking later when we are done. And we are excavating also all the way here. This is a cabinet for fiber optic cables, internet. And they are the orange lines coming down here. So it's a lot of them also. And there is one going into the building here. And yeah, this big brick wall is some kind of power station. And here we can see the same stuff. There are telephone lines going here, crossing all the way in here to this cabinet and over the stairs there so yeah and here we can also see there are some internet cables for the blue lines here going up to that cabinet so yeah there are a lot of lines power lines fiber optics you name it so this will for sure be interesting it's not very deep here this is the, the bottom floor and we can see to the top it's a little bit deeper and there are some kind of crawl basements underneath everything here so but first job is to start with the retaining wall is my plan as soon as we have the retaining wall done then we can start filling the access dirt from this place for example inside the retaining wall and make everything done there so i will just go around with my marking spray and just keep every marking fresh so it doesn't go anywhere so right now my plan is just to excavate a little bit in front of this station here so we can get ready for making the retaining wall
All right, then I have removed the topsoil, so it's ready to fill in some gravel and some fabric just to make everything stable for the retaining wall. And this is the same kind of retaining wall as I built earlier, the one with the rocks I used to claw and yeah, Tetris. And these stones I will just take away from here and maybe some of the worst topsoil that I can't use as fill. I didn't want to start here with the cables and everything right yet, so I just start in this corner and start making everything there ready and start building this way. I need to leave some room for this power station and over here, so... But I guess this video will be a couple of parts, because it's a lot of work and I have vacation in, in between. Alright, we have some equipment with us in the bucket, and we can use the tractor to drive away some stones and uh, to bring in some stones we are needing for the retaining wall so that's pretty great having the tractor for this also pretty great the tractor has air conditioning so yeah actually even up here it is hot now so all right we are here again let's just use the excavator to unload everything So then everything is ready. The stones are here for the retaining wall and I have excavated already this part. I will not do this part yet since we are excavating all the way down along this wall. It's no use doing the retaining wall up here before we have done that. So, But I will do the L up here so we get more room for storage and stuff like that. So I will now put on some fabric. and. I got some gravel in the trailer and I'll put that on top and then compact everything. So that should be nice and easy. It's been a couple of days with rain so it's nice to be back at it. I had to make some more room so I can stand there and also put the rocks in place and put more gravel down. I didn't have the reach to go all the way in but anyways I needed a space up there so I could stand there and put rocks down. And now in the beginning it's not important to make anything level or anything because all the rocks are in different sizes so I will uh, adjust the gravel until the rocks are at one level plane all the way along this edge and as soon as we have one over here then we'll start one up also.
Okay, so this is going good. Uh, still alone working, but I'm getting something done. I'm not filming too much of this retaining wall because I already made two videos of it, so I don't want to bore you with this stuff. Uh, I think I will film a little bit more later when I'm doing the drainage of the house and filling back everything here and making the parking and stuff like that. So trying to keep the videos a little bit interesting at least. But you can see I got some big ones in here now, this one, and now I'm putting some more gravel down here so I can put one more big that is up there right here and start building upwards. So it's going along, along nicely, this retaining wall, but I need to backfill now so I can stabil stabilize the rocks and let them have something to lean on before I go any higher. And I have my new tractor with my new trailer here with a load of rocks. So for the first time now, I want to test and see, can I put down the container with this much weight in? It's around 12 tons. So let's figure it out. Is it possible? I don't know. So I have all the safety measures in. So this piston I will tighten up and that will keep the back end in down on the tractor because that's the problem. We can lift the back end. And the same back here, I have hooked up these hydraulic ramps you can see there that will uh, lock the pivot point on the trailer. So hopefully with all this in box it will put this down without any problems. Alright, it's too heavy for uh, for putting the container down, it won't even lift it, but I can manage to get it to tip. So Then we just do it the easiest way for us, and that's just to tip it right in the street. So I just need to switch over some hoses so I can get the hatch in the back working. That's the problem with this trailer. It has so many functions, I don't have outlets for everything. All right, I've rigged everything ready for tipping the load instead. So now I will try and just tip a little bit. Let's see how that goes.
Okay, so that was actually just a perfect amount I dropped there. So scratch the first part off. It being too little, it was just perfect. I'll drop a little bit in front of the excavator again and fill the corner over there. And then we have filled everything up so the wall is, the retaining wall is more stable with something to support in back. And uh, then we can start building up and also we have something to put the new rocks on. So that's also important. So let's just drag on. All right, we got a small change of plans. Uh, instead of using this only for parking, they want to build a garage up on top of this at some point. And as we can see, there is a lot of uh, yeah bad dirt here. It's just the soil keep water, turns into mud if it gets water on it and stuff like that. So it's not something that you want to use for uh, building a garage on. So we have to change out more of the soil here so that's why you can see now I was excavating a little bit away and I put uh, some big rocks here so I will just keep placing rocks and removing the dirt that is not good. Okay, it is time for summer vacation now, so it will be about two weeks before I'm back here, or three maybe. Let's see. But now everything is secured, nothing can, or in the way of people walking or traffic, so I was just taking the tractor and drive home. Alright, that was just freaking cool. <laughs> I found the limit on how much it will, it will lift, so 